What is up, guys? Welcome back to Pokemon News Daily for Wednesday, April 15th, 2019. I'm your host, Daddy Gamer Fred, bringing you a daily news show where we go over all the Pokemon news for today. From official news to the leaks to the rumors spreading across all media as a Pokemon, from the games to the movies to the anime. So if you want to be kept in the loop with the latest news, make sure you are subscribed right now with those notifications turned on. If you like today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, be sure to leave a comment as well as I do take time out of my day to reply to all comments left on all of my videos so let me know your thoughts on today's topics but without no further ado let's jump right into the news now the first story we're going to be talking about very briefly is about detective pikachu and the reason why we're going to be talking about this very briefly because it's only going to be for this that are currently in london pokemon detective pikachu pop-up experience opened in london now this is coming from warnerbrothers.uk i'm gonna have a link to this article in the description below so you guys can check it out if you are out there in london and do want to experience this event it says a two floor pop-up inspired by the world of pokemon detective pikachu will open up in convert garden in early may it says warner brother pictures and legendary pictures invite audiences to enjoy the sights sound and fun and flavors of pokemon detective pikachu pop up when it opens indoors in london next month ahead of the first ever live Live action Pokemon film, the comedy adventure Pokemon Detective Pikachu in theaters in the UK Friday, May 10th, 2019. The pop up opens to the public on Friday the 3rd and Saturday the 4th of May. It's a short walk away from the Convert Garden tube station in London. The ground floor is inspired by the world class private eye Detective Pikachu offers numerous fun photo opportunities alongside the bright yellow walls. As Detective Pikachu loves coffee to recharge and focus his sleuthing skills, fans can enjoy Detective Pikachu printed coffee and hot chocolate drinks, yellow turnic lattes, and yellow bubble beam tea at the coffee bar. The basement space reflects the neon noir style of the movie's fictional rhyme city where all of the action takes place. Here, visitors can channel their inner Jigglypuff in an interactive karaoke booth and visit nail art stands by Wild Nails for a look inspired by the vibrant colors of the film. The pop-up unique activities and opportunities will also include workshop touching on various themes and moments from the film, including recharge yoga with flame at Move Your Flame on Twitter. I guess that's a celebrity of some kind. It says Detective Pikachu Cupcake Icing with Kim Joy. Now again, Kim Joy Kitchen on Twitter. Psyduck Inspired Relaxation Head and Shoulder Massages with My Beauty Squad. My Beauty Squad on Twitter. And for the real adventurous, Mr. Mime Inspired Miming Classes with Electric Cabaret. Again, I think that's another famous, probably another famous mine. Spaces in these workshops will be free of charge, but ticketed. So keep an eye out on our social media channels for more information when you can apply for these tickets in the future. Again, pretty cool activities. If you are in the London area, I would say jump on this, take advantage of it. I'm not going to be in London for this event. I wish I could take the time out and just fly out there for this two day event to participate, but I'm not going to be able to, especially with Detective Pikachu coming so soon. I can't wait for Detective Pikachu movie so any little bit of information or you know fun activities we could do surrounding the movie to take part in the movie and stuff like that I, to me is wonderful and I, I can't wait to see what's going to come out of this experiences these two days and the funny pictures and gifts hopefully we get another trailer you know showing more stuff I, I'm excited I'm ticket is sold on me as far as me going to see this movie let me know in the comment section below if you're going to be attending this event or do you want to see more stuff in the movie from Detective Pikachu come out of stuff like this where this event is taking in place and do you want them to move stuff like this around the world and hopefully not just london that's what i'm hoping now moving on to the next news story this is coming from funko.com target exclusive 10 inch bulbasaur pop now we've seen this coming with the pikachu pop they released the normal size and then they released a 10 inch size now i personally thought that was just going to be exclusive for pikachu because when they do pop usually they don't bring every pop to the 10 inch size but it looks like they may be 
doing that for Pokemon because our second pop, which is Bulbasaur for the Pokemon franchise is also receiving the 10 inch version, which begs me to believe that maybe we will see the same thing happen for Charmander and so forth and so forth going forward because it kind of weird that we get the small one and then we get the big one but this is also just a target exclusive so you have to head out to target sorry if target is not in your area it's not in my area i'm in switzerland so i'm gonna have to find a way to snap this while i'm in the u.s and then probably bring it back again it's just a bummer that it's a exclusive to target it's still pretty cool any collector will want it will want this exclusive pop in their collection of course this bulbasaur looks so fucking cute let me know if you gonna be picking up this target exclusive in the comment section below now probably the biggest news story of today is coming from pokemongolive.com i'm having a link to this website in the description below and it's for pokemon go obviously the pokemon go community day pokemon has been announced for may 19th and as you guys know we already knew the date and with the pattern that pokemon go does and niantic does with these pokemon go community day they usually go with a starter and then switch over to a random Pokemon, quote unquote. That Pokemon may vary from pseudo legendaries to just, again, a random Pokemon. But we do know we get the starters every other community day. We had Trico, now it is Torchic time to shine. Torchic will be the featured Pokemon for this Pokemon Go community day. We don't know the exclusive move like always that Blaziken is gonna learn when evolving Torchic into Blaziken during the four hour window that we have for community today also we're gonna be getting a three time catch bonus on stardust and of course our three our lore so it's looking to be a cool community day shiny torchic i am gonna have on screen they kind of hinted at shiny torchic during the tweet that pokemon company or niantic or pokemon go twitter has sent out i'm gonna show you guys that as well but we do know we always get the shiny for community day it's not a secret but they don't tell us that shiny torchic shiny kaboom song probably saying it wrong shiny blaziken I'm gonna have the images here so you guys can check it out. It looks pretty cool. My favorite generation three starter, to be honest, it was it was the one I chose. Obviously, a fire bird. Come on, how sick was that? And plus Blaziken looking like a kickboxer. Of course, I was down with that fire starter growing up as a kid. And to me, it's my favorite starter. I never had it shiny in the game. So having it shiny in Pokemon Go is a great substitute. I can't wait for this Pokemon Go community day. Let me know your thoughts on this community day in the comment section below. And are you excited? to have a Torchic or Shiny Torchic, Shiny Blaze again in your game come Pokemon Go Community Day coming May 19th. Let me know in the comment section below. Now, again, this one is going to be a short video, not a lot to dive into today, but let me know your thoughts on all the topics that we went over from the Detective Pikachu pop-up in London. Are you going to be able to visit? Are you in London watching this? If you are, what's up? Let me know if you are in the comment section below. Also, let me know your thoughts on Funko Pop releasing a Target exclusive 10-inch Bulbasaur Pop, are you going to be copping that? And your thoughts, obviously, on the Pokemon Go Community Day for May, which is going to be Torchic. Are you going to be lighting it up out there and catching yourself a shiny Torchic? Let me know in the comment section below. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow on another Pokemon News Daily. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy and my Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.